hello, welcome to the most wonderful time of the year, Spotify wrapped season. I haven't looked at this, I'm very excited. Uh, it's a wrap up of the year, but also of the decade, which makes me a little bit concerned, because at the start of the decade, I was eight. I, I don't think I had a Spotify account until I was about 12, but that's still not good. I, I, <laughs> my music taste was still, uh, questionable. So let's, let's have a look, shall we? Think that far, your house be- Okay, January to February, Frightened Rabbit. What's that album? I don't know that album. Oh well. This is Master System, and this is also Frightened Rabbit. <laughs> okay, cool. Not surprising. Uh, more Frightened Rabbit. We've got some Green Day as well. You're bad. It takes more! Ah. Uh, ah, uh, June to August is when I discovered Julian Baker, as, <laughs> as you can see. Um, man, I didn't know they were gonna play songs for me. This is so good. September to November, basically the same thing. Uh, Frabbit's back. We got some Hardcore History, which is like a podcast. Um, it's really cool. It's like, um,. Julian Baker's in my ear and it's a little bit distracting. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's like a really in-depth... It's just one guy talking at you for like five hours about World War One, but it's really cool. Like, I'm really into it. It's good for playing... listening to when you're playing like... a video game that doesn't require sound. So like City Skylines or something. Um, yeah, it's, it's very informative and I really enjoy it. Um, based on these seasonal uh, summaries, I'm gonna put Julian Baker and Frightened Rabbit at the top of my predictions. Uh, I would do that anyway, but all right, well, let's keep going, shall we? Frightened Rabbit were number one, probably because I only discovered Julian Baker in like June. My number one song from them was Candlelit. Which makes a lot of sense because it's um, the first song in my 2019 playlist, which is basically the only thing that I really listen to on Spotify a lot. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if if my top songs of the year were basically um, that playlist. Top artists. Well, that's really interesting that Phoebe Bridges and Lucy Dacus. I don't listen to these two all that much, but because I listen to Boy Genius. Also, Arctic Monkeys are always pretty high up, they're, they're pretty cool. But when it comes to music, your borders... what? When it comes to your music, borders disappear. You've listened to artists from 29 countries. That's not that many. I would like to build on that number. It's okay, it's pretty good. It's, you know, probably mostly Europe. Let's have a look. So the UK. I listened to a bit of T-Swizzle this year. I remembered how dope the first two albums were and I just sort of I threw them into the into the playlist and so that's that's why we got some Taylor. Let's see what else there is. Of Monsters and Men from Iceland. Cool cool. Avicii from Sweden. Nice. And Tresivan. <laughs> I was genre fluid. There's more frightened rabbit, hang on. Uh, 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 uh. Just, I apologize, I didn't realize they were gonna be playing music. This is just me bopping to my favorite songs now. Uh, let's have a look at genres though. So we got modern rock at number one. Uh, cool, not super surprising. Uh, folk pop, regular pop, psych gaze. I don't even know what that is, but that sounds cool. Is that like. King Giz sort of stuff, and regular rock. Um, cool, cool. Um, <laughs> every single Boy Genius song is in this list. Oops. Look, I know what I like, okay? Jeez, leave me alone. Alright, so let's have a look. Appointments, turn out the lights, stay down, me and my dog. Mon Lever. Oh, this is also by Julian Baker. Cool. Uh, by the Hand. Candlelit. Salt in the Wound. Keep Yourself Warm. Catch an Idea. Really? I didn't even like that song that much. I guess it's just because I play it so much, huh? Because what I do is I put... 
doesn't. What I how I usually listen is I'll pick an artist and put them on shuffle. So even the songs from them that I'm not a huge fan of, I'll listen to anyway. And it's not that this is a bad song. It's just that I mean I probably would put that at number ten most listened to. To be honest, I can't believe how much Julian Baker is in this. I'm sorry. I mean I'm not sorry. She's wonderful, but you know. Let's have a look at the whole playlist. So <laughs> I mean I. Uh, <laughs> I'm not obsessed. Cinematics, first thing that's not Julian Baker or Frightened Grabber. Uh, couch! Couch are in here! <laughs> Blush Shadow Puppets, Neutral Milk Hotel, Peter Drawers. That's cool. Okay, okay. This is what I'm nervous about. So I signed up for Spotify in 2014, which was year 7. And I just finished year 12, so this is my entire high school career in terms of music that I've listened to. Okay, okay. So we listened most in 2016, which is interesting. What? When was that? But yeah, pretty consistently around the 20,000 minute mark, I would say. The music that defined my decade. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Okay, cool. Alright. I don't even... I don't... I'm not okay with this. <laughs> 2014. Top song, Africa by Toto. Top artist, Nigel One, who is actually very cool. He was um, my health and PE teacher in year seven. And I was like, I found his music on Spotify and it was like really cool sort of country folk-ish stuff um, which is kind of a lot closer to what I listen to now definitely closer to what I listen to now than Toto 2015 top song DFTBA by Hank Green I love myself <laughs> top artist Trace Vaughn uh, I went through a phase which continued into 2016 top song youth top artist Trace Vaughn um, what can I say? I was gay and repressed. 2017, we really hit our rock phase with our top song being Are You Mine and our top artist being the Arctic Monkeys. Um, 2018, top song Thieves by Jeremy Loops. That's interesting. Uh, top artist Frightened Rabbit. So 2018 was when I discovered Frightened Rabbit. Um, and they sort of dominated from there on with being the top artist in 2019 as well, with appointments by Julian Baker, unsurprisingly, being number one for 2019. So that, yeah, that's interesting. Africa is like unironic. Like I would listen to that and be like, yeah, this is a good song, bruh. The artist of the decade is Frightened Rabbit. <sighs> And I only found them last year. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so this is like the, um, the summary thing. It's just friend pictures of Frightened Rabbit, which is, I'm totally okay with. Um, so this year, 20,000 minutes, top songs and top artists, all pretty self-explanatory, top genre, modern rock. This is very interesting. This part here, so we got Frightened Rabbit, Choice of Un, Arctic Monkeys, Julian Baker, The Shins. I, I must have listened to a lot of Julian Baker in the last, like, it's not even been six months and she's number four of my top artists of the decade. It's been like, I just got June, July, August, September, October, November. It's like six months. You're welcome, Julian, for all that playtime. <laughs> here's, here's where my problem is. Top songs. Number one, Youth by Trace of Vaughn. It's okay. It's an, it's, a, it's okay. It's okay. Number two, DFTBA by Hank Green. Number three, Lost Boy by Troy Savan. Number four, Happy Little Pill by Troy Savan. Number five, are you ready for this? Show me where your numb's at, Hannah Hart. Why have I actually listened to that song that much? It's a, it's like a meme song. I mean, it's it's a great meme song. But 
top genre modern rock sure sure okay cool good let's just move on from that shall we uh start the next decade off right with three months of okay yeah nah mate yeah nah mate all right okay good okay well <laughs> that uh that was an experience uh i don't really know what to say or how to feel so we're just we're just gonna end the video i think yeah uh-huh here are the lessons my taste has changed dramatically since 2014 15 16. um for the better i do believe no offense to troy but like that that kind of pop i'm just i mean it's okay but i'm not really it's not my thing anymore apparently it used to be uh i need to listen to people other than julian baker I don't think I do though, she's pretty great. I like modern rock. Yeah, I don't know. What? Let me know what your Spotify decade thingy looks like and if it's as embarrassing as mine. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. See you later.